School officials across New York are concerned about a proposed funding change that would impact how much districts receive. Our Plattsburgh Bureau Chief Alec Lasham tells us what it is. Some school districts in the North Country could lose a significant portion of state funding after Governor Kathy Hochul proposed a major shakeup. Now the money is shelled out. Every district is not being fully funded under this formula. Melinda Person is the president of the New York State United Teachers, the union representing nearly 700,000 workers. She and others say Governor Kathy Hochul's proposal to remove a crucial funding mechanism known as Save Harmless could negatively impact almost every school district. But what exactly is the Save Harmless Clause? School districts have had a provision in the school aid formula that prevents them from losing aid year to year. It provides stability so that districts can do long range planning and make sure that the tax base is stabilized. A tool that many rural North Country school districts depend on. This is a dagger. I mean, it really is. David Stein is the interim superintendent of Long Lake Central School District, which consists of 58 students and roughly 29 teachers and other employees. He says if approved by lawmakers, the district could lose almost 45% of state funding. That means local school officials may have to put forward a budget that is higher than the 2% tax cap put in place by the state. We, we may not have a choice other than to go over the tax cap and, and, uh, and, and, and rely on the, on the community to, to, you know, vote in a positive manner to, to keep the district open. But to increase the tax cap, at least 60% of voters have to approve it. Another option could be cutting programs or faculty, which the district says is not feasible, nor is tapping into any reserve accounts. Person says the right path forward is to keep the safe harmless clause, allow school districts to increase their budget to reflect inflation or the tax cap, whichever is higher, and to use current enrollment numbers, which Hochul has proposed. We are still to this day using census data from 2000. So that's one obvious example of a piece that needs updating. Changes she's confident lawmakers can make. We see a lot of support for our public schools. It's one of the few things that everybody can agree upon. So I am hopeful that these Cuts are going to be restored in the final budget and that this will kickstart the process for updating the formula, which is something that we would love to do. In Plattsburgh, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.